uh, co-leader Russell Norman online. He joins me now. Kia ora, Russell. Kia ora, Willie. How are you? I'm um, good, mate. You see my predictions for your uh, um, for your polling, uh, you know, for the election. I was a bit too high. Remember, I was telling you 11%, 11 and a half, and uh, I, I got the closest to what you got. Well, we'll see what we get, I guess, after the specials. It'll what, be a bit closer. What are you at the moment? 10? 10. 10 or something around yeah. there. Disappointment? Oh, yeah, we wanted to do better, but, you know, we held our own against a, the tide that was flowing the way of the National Party. Um, so, yeah, I mean, we pretty much held our own. I mean, what do you put it down to? You were averaging about 13 14% in polls going into that election. Well, I don't know. I mean, it was a, it was a really difficult election. I mean, you had... I mean, the, the main problem was Intermata, I mean, in terms of a change of government. So with them there, it just made it very, very difficult to change the government. Um, so that created problems for Labor, but it also created problems for us. Um, what do you mean? Did you think they confused voters? No, no. I mean, I think, I mean, you know, if you think about what was the Intermata campaign, they basically spent $3 million to try to convince potential Green Party voters to vote for Intermata. I mean, that, that's basically what they were doing. Um, and they were pretty much unsuccessful at that. But in the process, they um, tainted Labor because basically a lot of people went, God, I'm not going to vote for Labor because I'm going to get Hare and .com if I vote for Labor. So that was a problem, a big problem for Labor. And then for us, it was a, for the Greens, it was a problem because they occupied so much airtime, I mean, with their nonsense. So Intermanor occupied all this airtime that would have otherwise been available to talk about the issues was just caught up with the nonsense from the Intermanor thing. So oh. it just made it incredibly difficult to change the government because people went, God, I don't want that lot. Um, I'll stick with John Key, thanks very much. Yeah, and then the other side of it is, if you, do you think if there had been some uh, a proper engagement or... or um a liaison with them, you still might have changed the government because they were heading for between four and five percent there five weeks before the election, and uh, TV One poll they were four percent. I mean, what where they did where they went wrong? They must have run the worst campaign I've ever seen in politics, and the whole thing collapsed, and the whole left collapsed. Uh, I mean, do you think if there had been some meaningful engagement with them from Labour or from you guys, uh, that in fact you you know you might you might have got across the line? It was pretty difficult. I mean, basically, Intermana was a, you know, it was a guided missile attacking the left. I mean, that's what the thing was. So it was always going to make it really hard. I mean, we had enough trouble with John Key standing up there every day telling all his nonsense about us. Um, and then on the other hand, we had to deal with this, these crazies. I mean, it was, you know, it was having them on the radio and TV all the time talking their nonsense. It was like, oh, God. So it did, you know, make it incredibly difficult to change the government at that point. Because, you know, I mean, a lot of people who might have voted Labor went, God, I, if a vote for Labor means a vote for Dot .com and Hare, I'm not going to do that. And so they lost a lot of people because of it. And then for the Greens, it was like we were trying to talk about the issues, get some free airtime in that last week to talk about it, and all we got was the ridiculous moment of truth and all of that. So it just made it very, very difficult for those of us who were actually trying to change the government. So you think Lila Hare and Hone Harawira and them, because they were the main spokespeople for um, for internet mana, are crazies? I don't think they're crazy. I just think it was a ridiculous strategy. I mean, you know, the, the <laughs> you know, so imagine, you know, selling list place number two for three million dollars, which is what you know the mana party did. So they sold it to Kim dot com, and Kim dot com then appointed Lila to put in that spot, and. You know, it's just it's not a it's not a starting point of integrity, is it? I mean, you know, that's not a that's not how you go about changing the world for the better. Well, um, you well always... you well you wouldn't give her a list spot, so I suppose she had to look somewhere else. I mean, she was working for you guys. Well, here's the thing, Willie. In the Greens, it's a democracy. So if you want to get high up on the list, you've got to convince the Green Party members that you're a good person who should be high up on the Green Party list. If you're above that, you know, you don't want to do that kind of thing, then I guess you go to Kim.com and you say, why don't you appoint me as your employee and we'll buy list place number two and put me in there. I mean, that's the other option, right? Yeah, yeah, I suppose. We're, we're, a, we're a democratic party. I mean, the yeah, Greens, I, you know, I, we're the real deal. Yeah, but I suppose she was so celebrated, particularly by the media. I mean, the reality was when she... Um, when she became uh, internet leader, uh, was heralded as a masterstroke by 
all the so-called political experts out there, Russell. You know, I thought it was brilliant. You remember all the razzmatazz. Uh, not they, me. You know, I, no, you no, know, no, not you, but you didn't say much I at the it was time. stupid. <laughs> yeah, I can't recall you saying it was stupid, but... Uh, well, what what would have been the point in the middle of an election campaign for us to get stick, stuck into Intermana? No, no, well, that's right. So what, but what, st- see, see, the other side of it is the, the Hare side or the, the their side is what, 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 you know, if, the, if Labour had have linked arms with them or you guys, maybe you'd be Deputy Prime Minister today. No, we would have been destroyed even more. It was a catastrophe from beginning to end. It was a stupid idea. For, well, you know and I know they were heading towards, uh, um, you know, as I said, they were polling well, everything was going well, and then they had the most dopiest campaign around. Around, And some would say you were stupid and Cunliffe was stupid, uh, was stupid for not embracing them a bit because uh, you needed every little... But a chance that you know every chance that you could get to to get up there, you needed a, a party like them to maybe get four percent to get you across the line. Surely that was obvious, wasn't it? No. Well, no. Look, well, look like you, well, look, said, well, look, as, well, look, as, well, look where you are now in opposition as I again. Said from the beginning, <laughs> like when I went and met dot com, whatever you do, don't go ahead with this stupid idea. Oh, you you, you told that to him. yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'm on the public record. I said right from the get-go, don't do this stupid thing. Anyway, they went ahead and did it, and then they made it stupider by doing the Inton mana thing, right? And so poor old Hone got dragged into the mess as well. And, and you know, it's how how do you think this thing's going to end when you go down that kind of well, path? It, well, I think it ended it a bit earlier than what they thought it would. I mean, I think they, they thought they were heading for Parliament, so did everyone else, and then... Not me. Yeah, yeah. I thought it was a bad idea. Oh, yeah, yeah. I said it I was know. a bad idea. I, I, I accept that, but I'm sure you were surprised with the way they collapsed. I mean, no, no. <laughs> so you put no together Hone Hauer and Kim.com and you think it, it Russell, ends badly Russell, and you're Russell, surprised. Russell, there's not a commentator in the last month who didn't think they were heading for Parliament. All right? What we saw was a, the, was a terrible... Ca- I mean, they just collapsed uh, um, under their own stupidity in the last month with... Uh, with the buyer thing, the marijuana arguments, with the um, moment of truth, which turned out to be a sham. I mean, it's just ridiculous. But if anybody else was running that campaign, they would have just said cool heads and they would have cruised into Parliament. That was obvious. You know? No, no. I don't go, think, go, I think go, you're go back and read Armstrong's uh, um, I, I stuff. Don't read um, back, I don't believe go, a word uh, Armstrong uh, says. Well, you never said anything. Okay. Well, that's because, like <laughs> I on, said, you on, think it would have helped if I had hang, hang on, you said nothing. Uh, and all the top commentators uh, had thought they were just there was just no way they were going to be stopped. Uh, and who who was who would have predicted the stupidity over the last month? Oh, you're saying you would have, but you couldn't say anything. I did. <laughs> yeah, I did. I you said, did don't not. Do it. There's no record of you saying anything, Russell. There is a total record. I am on the total on the public record. When I went visited dot com, everyone said, "What did you talk about?" I said, "I told him not to do it." Now, go and look at it. You go, you go Google it. You go Google it. All it's I'm, all online. I told him not to do it. All I'm hearing you say is those crazies, and you're not specifying who the crazies are. Well, the, you, so what? So here we have, right? So, <laughs> so you have Kim dot com. Right? Is Kim dot com the crazy? Is that the crazy? Is he the <laughs> well, crazy? Who are Kim, the crazies? <laughs> you have Kim dot com, right? Who's you know, I you know, t- terrible things happen to dot com, right? I don't, you know, what the New Zealand government did to him was wrong, and I said so, and I've continued to say so. But starting a political party in order to get vengeance is not going to work. And then going to into going to the Mana Party and saying, well, what's our common ground? Well, there isn't really much because what on earth is the Internet Party? It's like it's just dot com and his money. It's true. So. Yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, where are you surprised it turned to custard? Yeah, yeah, I was surprised that it turned to custard so early. I, I expected it to turn to custard a bit later on. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I always <laughs> expected it was going, but I, I, I thought that it was they were cruising as did as did every other political commentator um, uh, who could see <laughs> that the people were sort of almost duped, weren't they, uh, in terms of what was happening. And, uh, um, yes, yeah, so I did expect it to turn to custard. I never expo- expected that they would self-destruct uh, over that last month the way that they did. But, yeah. You know you know when that video happened, you know, when they had F. John Key, right? Yeah, you know, oh, that, yeah, yeah. The yeah. chanting, which the, which the Intermana Party promoted, right? It wasn't an accident that appeared in public. They were promoting this thing, right? Yeah. When Middle New Zealand saw that, what do you think they thought? 
Yeah, but they, they said, they, they we don't want these people in Parliament. On, we don't want on, the Labor Party on. in Parliament who are associated with them. Hang it was on. gold they were never... for, for John Key. When were you guys ever middle New Zealand? You've only become middle New Zealand in the last election. It's, it's not. We were trying to win an election, <laughs> Willie. <laughs> no, hang on, we hang on, hang on, we... hang on, hang on. When did you guys? When did you guys make the switch to middle New Zealand? I'm talking about the Greens. I, I get that. I get that. But I thought that was always the domain of Labor and National. When did the Greens become uh, so fixed on middle New Zealand? Tell me. We're not fixed on middle New Zealand. What I'm saying is that if your objective was to change the government, you had to win a lot of people to that idea, right? You just have to. And so when Intermana were doing that kind of stuff, you were alienating the very people you had to win over. And the Labor Party, poor old Cunliffe, to give him his due, what on earth could he do at that point? He tried to distance himself from it, but John Key, quite wisely, just kept saying, no, no, Kim.com, David Cunliffe, there together. And everybody who saw that went, oh, no. And so they just, poor old Labor, just lost people, heaps of people because of it. It was, it was a disaster. <laughs> It was. It, it made it incredibly difficult to change the government no, once they went down I, I that don't, track. I don't ever think internet money were after Middle New Zealand, though. That was the um, that was the point, right? They were after the disenfranchised. They were after those people oh, who, who, never, who never voted. You heard them all the time. Uh, and, what, and, what was their advertising and, 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 and like? You, but hang on, you used to be like that when you were more principled. When you were a more principled politician before you oh, be- what rubbish. <laughs> before so, you what became rubbish, more respectable <laughs> and wanted to change the middle vote, you used to be but, like them. But you're a changed man now. You just want power. Well, so so if they went around. We the Green Party don't go around saying if John Key. You we used go, to. Let's hang talk on, about you, you, the you, policy. Hang on, you used to. All right. No, he didn't. No, hey, he didn't. Hey, hey, ask that Metinia no. today when she was with her stupid, uh, whatever, what were they called? Macaulay Serious or whatever they called themselves. Well, and, that's and, not the green Hang on, hang on. She's got a background in terms of F the Prime Minister. You know that. It's not the Green Party, Willie. Yeah. But don't tell me your activists don't have backgrounds in terms of uh, uh, being particularly active and against the... Uh, Against the government, surely, you know, this is an interesting take for you from you today. Although that's not why we were actually ringing you, but <laughs> <laughs> we're activists. We're activists who like campaign on issues. That's what we do. We're serious about it. We don't take three million dollars and go, oh, why don't we try to get the Green Party vote so we can get into Parliament? We go and we campaign on issues. We're serious about it. We take John Key on every day in the House. We do it seriously. It's not some kind of game. It's for real. This is politics. It's about the future of the country. We take it seriously. That's what the Greenies are about. And the reality is you're looking at uh, changing your philosophical position, aren't you? Because there were, mur- there was mur- there were murmurings about you guys sort of uh, looking towards national about a week before the, uh, before the election, right? So the real- reality is you don't really want to just be um, classified as being Labour Party people. Is that true? So try to get your head around this, right? We're a third political party right. in New Zealand. There's right. the Labour Party. We're not them, right? There's the National Party. We're not them, right? Then there's the Green Party. We're that party. We're the third party, the independent party that campaigns for social justice and sustainability and protect the environment. That's us. So going, We're a different yes, party. Sure, I get, and I, I've got that, but you, you need to just uh, be clear to us, going forward for the Green Party, we're not going to see a Green Party that's just fixed to the Labour Party? Is that what you're saying today? Well, we have never been fixed to the Labour Party because we're an independent party. Remember the 2002 election? Remember when Labour tried yeah, to so kill what, the Greens? Yeah, no, no, I, I, remember, remember? I, I remember it well. I've always, thought, yeah. I've always thought your strategy was stupid. The way that uh, <laughs> I've always thought there were a number of stupid people in the Greens. That the way that <laughs> no, seriously, because because you were so fixed on being lapdogs for the Labour Party. And so, did you back this into money thing, Willie? Oh, yes, I did. Yes, yes, yes. So, did. so you, you were a catastrophe, right? You <laughs> stopped us changing the government. Willie Jackson, I'm going to play Willie Jackson was John <laughs> Key's John Key's secret weapon. You no, and Lila no, no, and no, Dot Com. No, 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 no. John Key's secret weapon. Okay, I'll take my share of blame. I was, uh, <laughs> I, I, I was one of the people who recommended they do the deal. But what, I, what, <laughs> what a disaster you are! Uh, yeah, well now what you a know. disaster. <laughs> The Tell National Party secret weapon, yeah. Willie Jackson. No, no, no. You're very good in retrospect, but what I'm saying to you is, <laughs> is that you've confer- you're confirming on Marty Radio today that going <laughs> forward, you can do deals with National, which I think is a good good idea. I think <laughs> that's a good idea because you're coming up twenty years in the opposition, right? 
So what we've said and we've always said is that we'll work with anyone on issues, but when it comes to forming a government, and we said this last time and the time before, that our preference is to form a government with Labor, and it's highly unlikely that we could form a government with National because of the policy differences. We're about policy. It's about the policy differences between the Greens and National. That's the problem. Right, right, right. So next time out when National becomes the government again... Um, you'll have the, no. <laughs> you'll have you'll 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 have uh, uh, the same. But well, no, no. Yeah, I think you should be open. I mean, Winston's open to this sort of stuff. You know, <laughs> yeah. And he's got three years of doing what? He doesn't know what to do with himself. He's got ten other people in the parliament. He came fourth in the election, right? The Greens beat him. He came fourth in the election. He's got ten people he doesn't know. Nobody else knows either, except maybe Ron Mark. And so they're going to go into parliament and do what? Well, the kingmakers. Oh, well, yeah, that didn't work out, did well, it? Well, at least he can oh, say... What do they do now? Yeah, well, here's the, here's the difference. So at least he's been in a position in the last 15, 20 years where he's been able to affect change, unlike yourself, who, who <laughs> is... You, 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 you are a permanent uh, member of the opposition. That's what your yeah. position is. At least... At least... A, at least a lot of expensive at, hotels. At, at least New Zealand First can say they got something for the old people. At least they got the gold card. What do you get? You've been in opposi- got, you've been in opposition for, We got 250,000 250, homes retrofitted with insulation, which is a lot more than Winnie's ever got. No, no, gonna no. Get. Well, do you See, that doesn't convince the old people out there. Hey, just before we finish, because we went right off the coat bubble, because you deliberately hijacked this interview. <laughs> the, oil, yourself. the oil and gas industry, just, 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 just before we finish, I've got to do this because my producer yeah. said. Uh, so so their, their, their acknowledgement, their fossil fuel days are numbered. Um, you, 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 you'd, be, um, you'd be happy with that? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, the fact that climate change means that you can't burn all the fossil fuel we've already found. And so, the, you know, the National Party strategy, which is we're going to be this big, you know, oil and gas and, you know, coal country. Um, actually, we can't even burn all the oil, gas and coal we've found on the planet if we want to avoid out of control climate change. So it's a stupid strategy. And National, <clears throat> they're the only ones who haven't realised that, right? National don't even know. National like living in the 1950s. They don't even know we're in the 21st century. They don't realise climate change is a real issue. So they're like off, you know, subsidising, giving... You know, they gave, they gave like, was it $800,000 to the oil and gas and coal industry to have a big conference. They gave $5,000 to the Wind Energy Association, right, to have a conference. So, you know, but clean energy is the fastest growing sector in electricity generation in the world right now. It's the fastest growing part of, of energy, electricity generation, is clean energy, renewables. And that's New Zealand's kind of thing. You know, we could be leaders in this, but the National Party goes, no, no, we're not going to look at that clean energy stuff. We've got to dig stuff out of the ground. <laughs> so, yeah. You know, I mean, we've got a government that's living in the 50s, 1950s. You know, and to be talking about your future coalition partner that way, Russell, you know. <laughs> <laughs> right, if they want to come into the 21st century, maybe we can have a chat. Hey, well, well, hey, I've got to say, I enjoyed our chat today, even though, as I said, you hijacked our interview and you were very rude to can, you were very can you rude promise to the me host. one thing, Willie? Can you promise me to stay out of the next election? <laughs> just don't get involved, right? You know, I know how keen you are to keep national in office, but just don't get involved. I was hoping for a list position on the Greens list. But that's, that's <laughs> well, <good>. If you <laughs> can convince the members, because we're a Democratic Party. Good on you, Russell. Good to talk with you today, mate. All, all, all right, good. Cheers. Thank you, mate. Bye.